It's Madden NFL. Tw it's the Battle of the Beltway. Baltimore and Washington are underway. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The Baltimore's offense is making its way out for the first time and leading them their quarterback, a guy who is just so electric under center in his fifth season now, Lamar Jackson. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, when you've got a quarterback like this dead to rights, you got to make sure to wrap up. Instead, though, he breaks free, and off he goes. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. Holding offense. That's on the guard, Kevin Zeitler, first-round pick back in 2012. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Throwing is Jackson. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Jackson to throw. Being chased out left. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Jackson now. Forced out to his left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked up by Cameron Curl. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. So after the INT, here's Wentz. And this one is incomplete. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Wentz now on first down. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. They'll try again here from the 7 on second and goal. Wentz to throw again. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. Holding offense. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the... Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first down coming up. They'll start out here with the option left. Jackson hit and he lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Wentz. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 
Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. From the 13, now they work on first and 10. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So now third and 10, they had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Wins to the sideline on fourth down. Joey Sly is out there now for the Washington field goal. Sly able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, their offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. What about Jonathan Allen there, pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? On second and 12. Jackson and the Washington pressure gets to him and he will go down no surprise there Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack now after that sack it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens a give up the middle to Dobbins no gain on the play there nice job defensively and it likely forces a punt situation on four Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Back deep, Alex Erickson. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. This is brought in at the 21. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. And meanwhile, Wentz is throw into the hands of McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. From midfield, here's Wentz. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side, and it's knocked away and incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. They'll go. It's Gibson. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. It got his man complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Commanders up first on offense as we begin this third quarter. Wentz bringing the Commanders out for first and ten. Right at the 30. Root taking it right down Broadway. 20. Touchdown, Washington. 
And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Now Jackson. And incomplete on the deep ball. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll kick it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. Wentz bringing the Commanders out for first and ten at their own 22. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 83 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On second down, here's Gibson again. They find some open field here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Gibson again. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. We have played three quarters. Back now at FedEx Field. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Straight ahead, Gibson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. They'll run with Gibson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Antonio Gibson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And Washington able to strike for six. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is now 24. A drive that time of six plays. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Now Jackson on first down. Well, that'll be complete to Dobbins. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. From the gun, Jackson. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. The 20, 10, 5, and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. James P. 
Crochet. 46 yards. And the Ravens are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. That's caught at the two. And he's going to get in for the score. And the lead now cut to 14. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally. But here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by the Commanders. And they are going to win this football game. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. On first down, right back to Gibson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Once more, Gibson. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run with Gibson. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Antonio Gibson from 17 yards out. And the Commanders have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 23. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was all finished off by the 17-yard touchdown run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Jackson. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. One last shot for Jackson. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So a victory here for the Commanders.